Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. back. That's the answer. This is the Appleton Oak. I'm Mason Quinn. Folks, today we're taking a look at The Legend of Korra. We are on book four called Balance. This is episode four, The Calling. Now, man, this is the last season. I can't believe it. I really like the run up here. I like how the characters are kind of coming into their own. Korra's different. I just want to get to it. Well, you know, the last episode, she had some tough love. <laughs> so we're going to see where she's... What she's been doing in that swamp now, she's still training, but I'm definitely ready, willing, and able for Tenzin's kids to try and find her. I'm, I want more tough. That's yeah. what I want. More tough. I love the tough love. We'll see what happens. All right, without further ado, let's go! the kids find the avatar and help her return to action oh you gotta get that metal out yeah i have to just just deal with it oogie tenzin are you sure you can't go with them we'll be fine we don't need your food but i made your favorite tree i guess we're not officially on the road yet Ah, uh, this one is smudged <laughs> oh jesus that's, that's how little kids are yeah. <laughs> remember janor is in charge to no man or girl. <laughs> now let's move out, soldiers. <laughs> Pepper, you get. Oh, that's not oh. Yugi. That's hers. That's Pepper. Yeah. All right. Okay, so we have a new one. It's like the first day your kid learns how to drive. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, I've been holding my pee for an hour. <laughs> if you get through to Cora, tell her I said hi. I just need more than two seconds and some quiet. Pokey and I are going to go into town and find out if anyone's seen Cora. You can hold the picture of Cora I drew. I didn't know you could draw. <laughs> what? <laughs> he can draw? It's like wow. perfect. Well, aren't you an adorable little thing? I'm dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> the Avatar? We still have one of those? Can I trust you? <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen her? I haven't. Sorry. Top secret mission, huh? I've seen some things. <laughs> Stuff and things, Lori. What should I call you other than beautiful? Milo found a girlfriend. <laughs> Go away, Iki. Good luck, Milo. Oh, look at that blush. Blushing. <laughs> <laughs> you drove away the love of my life. <laughs> He's just the love of my life. My life. <laughs> Janor, Iki, it's Cora. It's <laughs> just a photo of uh, Cora. She came by here about uh, six months ago, but she wasn't looking too good. You need to start pulling your weight. <laughs> Remember when he used to be so nice and sweet? <laughs> no. Nope. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He wasn't. What's the plan for today? You're looking at it. Tell me the story about how you taught Aang to earthbend. I threw some rocks at the Avatar. He got all whiny and Sokka fell in a hole. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> Sokka fell in a hole. If you're so antsy to do something, why don't you go and collect some mushrooms for dinner? Uh, is this a test? I'm hoping so. Where's all the food Mom gave us? I threw it in the river. We hunt for our meals. We're vegetarians. <laughs> We don't hunt. Pokey and I will go find some grub. I don't think it's going to be that easy. Uh, some people like to feel like they the, have the sense of adventure and stuff like that mm -hmm. until you realize how hard it is. Mm -hmm. I'm so above it all because I'm meditating all of the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ooh. Oh. I thought maybe she was going to find something with some food following the... You're trespassing. Oh, you're Hold in. it right there. I don't oh, recognize no. the uniforms on those guys. No. Now, this girl is Tenzin's kid, and she's looking for the Avatar. He <laughs> <laughs> pulled her arm out. I bet we get a big-time promotion. Where's your campsite? Maybe we could sit everybody down and have a nice plate of macaroons. I found a whole sack of food yeah. down by the river. I'd rather hang out here with you guys. <laughs> it's totally yeah. backfiring. Hit me with one of the macaroons. <laughs> he, he, he made it, so he's happy. Oh, no, oh, no. I told you he'd be back. It's just, it's a vision. It's real. <laughs> the guy who refuses to believe that anything can ever possibly be a dream sequence. Yeah. 
<laughs> hey, this looks like a dream sequence. Just wait. Just wait. Wait. Just wait. Could be real. <laughs> hey, we didn't see Amon go. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> you got so excited there for a second. I did. I legit did. So excited. I hope you're hungry because we found some. Oh! oh. <laughs> Looks like he oh, got like uh, berries. He's just eating like, it again. Just like a dog. So delicious. <laughs> Did you run into Iki while you were picking your poisonous berries? Now I got to go find the avatar and her. I thought we were doing this as a family. Family. And you know there's going to be a huge party afterwards. I know exactly what you're going to <laughs> My brother and sister are always leaving me out of fun stuff. Well, that's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> this, this guy. So, where have you looked for? Chess <laughs> 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 balls. What about this place? No one goes there. No. <laughs> I just found our food, and I have an idea where Cora is. Then let's get going. Grab the grab the map. It did crazy things to my mind. Yeah, I figured something like that might happen. What? <laughs> I know you want to get better, and so does the swamp. <laughs> Bullfrog. Oh. <laughs> Instead of a shark fin, it's got the. <laughs> what did Amon want? Equality for all. Unalak. He brought back the spirits. And Zaheer believed in freedom, and they took their ideologies too far. Balance. You can't expect to deal with future enemies if you're still fighting the old ones. Mm. Very true. That's life right there. Wow. Yep. Boy, you avatars sure need a lot of hand-holding. <laughs> Cora's not feeling good. She might come to a spiritual place like this. I don't think we're going to find her here. What the guys really? just said. You're not going to give it a few minutes? Oh. Uh oh. 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 Okay. You get the hell away from my bison. <laughs> Farted one. Come on. Mm -hmm. I still don't sense Cora. Well, you haven't sensed her the entire time we've been looking for her. You've been disconnected for too long. Disconnected from yourself. Disconnected from all the past avatars. Mm -hmm. A lot all of disconnection. Cora, I saw Janora, Iki, and Milo. Hopefully, they're here to take you home. <laughs> you gotta get, get the, the poison out. out. Yep. Let Toph do her thing, and then we'll go from there. Janora sensed your energy, but we never would have been here if it weren't for Iki. I guess it was a team effort. <laughs> Teamwork. <laughs> Aang and Katara's grandchildren. Your grandpa was a real pain in my butt. <laughs> <laughs> you must be tough. Oh, I like this one. <laughs> Kuvira is taking over the Earth Kingdom. You have to stop her. I don't know. She's in no condition right now. The world needs you back. Oh, look at that. Nice little fire under a massive, massive tree. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. You got to do this on your own. Oh. Oh, she's got a metal bend it all out of her. Yeah. Clear your mind. And don't freak out like last time. <laughs> <laughs> the look she gives her quick. Let it move through your body. Fight it. You gotta fight it. Yep. Yeah. It's like Miyagi. It's exactly what it is. Let's go. Yeah, I was wondering what we're gonna do with that. Well done, Cora. Hey! Oh, hey! All right! There it is! Nice! Thank you so much for helping me. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Just the back. Pats. Peace and quiet. Hmm. Ah, Look it. at that! Oh, what? At the Man. end of the day, Cora had to do it herself, and I, you know, I didn't expect that to uh, to happen. I did think that Toph was going to have to do it, but it's such a better twist on the story and gives Cora so much more confidence if she does it herself. Obviously, Absolutely. you know, mm -hmm. should have saw that coming. But it was good to see the good to see the swamp again. It looks like we're finishing up there with our team leaving, and I'm wondering if we're going to see Toph again. It's 
it seems kind of weird. She's just going to hang out by the swamp and not go see her, uh, you know, any of her friends or anything like that, friends or family. So I guess we'll see there. But yeah, either she, way, uh, she either likes... way, Cora was able to, to get back in the Avatar state. My only question is, is she going to be back to 100% like immediately now that the, the poison is out? Or is it still going to take a little bit of time? She's just way stronger now. Hopefully she won't be getting uh, her butt handed to her by some common street thugs over some <laughs> fish or whatever they were taking. Well, she'll be able to like find some sort of water bender that's a healer, and that could probably help her if she does really need more healing capabilities. But this is pretty This is pretty cool how like you know <laughs> the kids were acting like Kids would, right? Just yeah. yelling at each other, not listening, not trying to do their own thing. And lo and behold, the one was playing the two earthbenders the whole time from the Earth Kingdom, just like getting fed the macaroons, found the food, <laughs> even gave a little something, something to the little flying squirrel that she found. Yep. So that, and then Toph with her Toph love made her take it out herself because you knew, you knew that that's how it was going to have to be. That Toph's like, nope. This time it's on you. You have to release this stuff. You have to get rid of the past. The past is over with. You're on to the future. That fight is over. It's done. Let's go on to the next one. So that's, that was that was a nice message. Yeah, I thought this was pretty cool. It's a lot of, uh, you know, things are going to work out the way they're supposed to work out kind of message with the kids, you know. <laughs> uh, you know, had um, Milo not got rid of the food, then they don't go out <laughs> looking, and then she doesn't get caught. And then, Found some nice you know, berries. She doesn't find out that Cora might be in the swamp. So things worked out the way they should, which I feel like it's 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 like a twofold lesson here. Things work out the way they should, but on the flip side of that, Toph told Cora, like, no, you have to mm -hmm. do this yourself. So it's that interesting, like, kind of different uh, schools of belief because I know a lot of people, you know, believe very, you know, strongly in fate and mm -hmm. destiny and stuff like that. And you have a lot of people are like, no, like if you want things to go a certain way for you, you have to be the one to do the work for yourself and not rely on if this was supposed to happen yeah. or if this let's, is... Let's hope this let's, happens. Uh, yeah, this <laughs> is the way it's, it's meant to be. So, you know, people have different thoughts on that and I don't know that one is right or wrong or there's not an in-between somewhere, uh, somewhere there. But this was a really good episode, and uh, we saw Cora get back to the Avatar, yeah. show, which is good. Boom. Right away, but too. Things, yeah, pretty quick. Um, there is a massive mess with Kavira, a massive mess. And it's not necessarily like, look, we can look at historical events through the world and be like, yeah, it's just some red flags going on yeah. here. But, you know, a lot of people don't see it that way, which if you look through historical events, a lot of people didn't see the red flags either. They saw mm -hmm. security Jeez. and... And, uh, and things like that, that she's probably trying to provide. So I'm really curious to see uh, where the rest of the season goes because uh, it's been an intense one so far. Yeah, she's got a real Negan vibe to her, if you ask me, early seasons uh, Negan. I don't, don't. <laughs> he's got to, he's got to, he always goes back to Negan on that. But hey, look at that, we're four episodes in. Oh my God, we got nine left now. So for Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm of course the answer. We'll catch you on the next one, pals. Cora rid herself of the residual poison in her body and is ready to return to action. Ready to return. Oh. oh. Got a whole armada. Oh, wow. Here. It's not just one ship. They yeah. teased us. I'll contact President Raiko. Kavir is already here, and she brought her entire oh. army. Whoa. They got the robots Whoa. and tanks. Whoa. Uh, can you say Roman Empire? Mm. The eyes of the world are on us now. We must do this right. Do you really think we can rely on him? Sue trusts him. Are you sure we should be going to Zaofu? She needs to know that the Avatar is back. Woohoo! Back! <laughs> There's not going to be a fight. Why did we go through all that trouble to save you? <laughs> Jesus. He, he wants the action movie here. Mm -hmm. In this stasis capsule is a preserved spirit vine sample weighing approximately two Julies. <laughs> <laughs> this machine should transfer the energy from the vine into a battery using electrical currents. It's registering five barracks of power. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's a barrack. Uh-oh. Too many barracks. Oh, what is this? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa! You're too heavy! I think you're just weak, sir! <laughs> hey! 
<laughs> I can't clean this place up by myself. Grab a broom. We were spirit vined. <laughs> Putting the kibosh on this project. Usually I look at a project like this and all I think is, wow, I can make a ton of money off this. It's like I'm <laughs> concerned with others. <laughs> Do you mean a conscience? A conscience. I believe that voice is your conscience, sir. <laughs> there we go. Whoa! Oh! Now there's a voice in my head telling me to drop you on the tracks. Jeez. Wow. Mm -hmm. I'm here to return these. Stop writing me. Oh. Oh, yeah. Her dad. Well, he did try to take her out. You're the one thing I look back on that makes me smile. You are the greatest thing I ever created. I don't know that we're done with him. I don't think so. I can't believe that. Like, that's He'll be sack. back. We want you to be a part of our inner circle. What does it mean exactly? It means you've proven your worth. Sue has some resentment towards me and Batar that might cloud her judgment. We believe you can help her see clearly. I can do that. Because we're here. <laughs> Aren't all these troops gonna send the wrong message? You're here to present peace. Oh. Opal, you're here too. No. Why don't we all stand in a circle, huh? Maybe hold hands. <laughs> Sue, I didn't bring my army to threaten you. I wanted to show you all that your son and I have accomplished. Son, you belong here. Why? So that I can go on living in your shadow. Can't you see she's brainwashed you? I set him free. <laughs> okay, guys. Focus on the future. Citizens are forced to work as slave labor. Now, I don't know what you think you've seen, but I'm giving you the 100% Bolin guarantee that- <laughs> oh, Guarantee. You have 24 hours to agree to join the Empire or we take the city by force. Never had much of a choice, did you? Oh, there Bolin. was never a choice at all. We made it! And a bunch of other people are here too. I hope we're not too late. Cora? Right now, I want to help you stop Kuvira. You were just bluffing, right? I mean, you're not really going to attack Zaufu. What does happen to all those towns and villages after we leave? Those people are my loyal subjects. Ah. Uh, <laughs> wow. Hello. I didn't know your personal feelings for Opal were stronger than your loyalty to me. The only thing I'm second guessing is the decision to bring you along. Maybe you need to spend some time in a re education. Re education. I'm totally on your side, completely 100% loyal. I'm Megan. Hard to believe. She was like a daughter to me, a natural leader, and quickly rose through the ranks. What happened? There's a vacuum of power, and I'm concerned about what will happen if someone doesn't take control of the situation. We'd be seen as conquerors and greeted with nothing but war. This is our opportunity to change things. It's not going to happen. Kuvira turned my own son against me. What do you think you're doing? We're doing what you don't have the guts to do. Ouch. Hmm. Raiko and the other world leaders made her the provisional head of the Earth Kingdom. Provisional? Don't worry, we'll have an election soon. <laughs> <laughs> Go into the Avatar state and demolish her army. Whoa. Remove Kuvira from power once and for all. Whoa. That always made things worse. Let me talk with Kuvira. I mean, that's a lot of soldiers you'd be taking that's out. That's a pretty, it's a pretty aggressive request. We'll just take everybody out. Yeah. I can't believe Kuvira locked me in here like a prisoner. Varric. And the head voices are back. <laughs> Kuvira's crazy. crazy. We got to get out of here. <laughs> Cora, it's such an honor to see you again. I'm here to ask you to back down. Oh, shit. I was tasked with bringing stability to the Earth Kingdom. Zaofu is the last holdout. Holdout? You can't come to me as I'm on the verge of reuniting my nation and tell me to stop. I know what that's like. Let's call a temporary truce. Maybe that will be for the best. Oh, I don't trust her. We have some fugitives to catch. We'll be helping by warning the world about Kuvira's potential super weapon. Let me think about this. Oh! oh. That didn't take long. The animation wow. is gonna the probably know how to do it the best. That thing. So cool with these robots, the way they're moving. Nice. Better do some earth bending. We're gonna make some lava out Let's of say, that. Do some lava bending. 
Oh no, he's gonna take out his you. Oh. You're making this very difficult. Uh oh, nice. nice. I like yeah. that. Yeah. We go. There's the lava oh, bending. Oh. The lava bending. I completely nice. forgot yeah. about the lava bending. Turn yourself over. Thanks a lot, Julie. <sighs> Back again, huh? I'm not sure I'll ever be able to forgive you, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't try. Oh, look at this. Nothing would make me happier. Hey, don't torture us. <laughs> don't send me away. Take me back. Why would I? Because my only mistake was being loyal to the wrong oh, person. Oh, uh, she's trying to work her. Compared to you, Varric's a fool. Hey, come on. I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> I pledge my allegiance to you, Great Uniter. You two could learn something from her. I'll give you another chance. We're partners! Do the thing. No! Oh, I thought it was going to be at work for a minute. I, I still think it is. You think it's a Playing setup? the long yeah, game? I think she is. They're going to sneak into Kuvira's camp and put an end to this. No. Oh, oh you come on. I was hanging of course they did that one oh. fast fast oh. that was a quick episode yeah. i'm not so sure that julie i don't think well julie i think she's she's trying to to work kuvira mm. i don't think she believes a word of what she said no um but Same. i'm worried that cora isn't seeing this thing from all the right angles i mean she just came back she hasn't really been in this spot for a while uh kuvira was trying to play on her desire to not have war and to try to unite everybody and kind of tried to find a common ground with her a little bit like oh you know people would get mad at me as well and they kind of had that little bit of a moment there so I'm just not, I, I don't think it's going to work out quite the way that Cora thinks. I think she's going to have to see Kavira for who she really is. Now, that being said, I don't think Cora should go and just wipe out the whole army like yeah. uh, like they wanted her to. I mean, <laughs> yeah. you know, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, you've got a bunch of soldiers who are, some might be loyal to Kavira, but I think a lot more of them are loyal to her out of fear and are stuck in that situation because they don't have a choice. Uh, so that's why, you know, if given the chance, they would rise up against her. Maybe that's the angle Korra has to go with. But uh, yeah, either way, it's a very different enemy this season. It's not some big menacing baddie who can do all these crazy, amazing things. It's just a, a corrupt ruler. So this will be cool to see how it plays out. Well, and then she also played on the fact that, well, well, you were gone for three years. I had to rebuild all this stuff too. Throwing that in her face, and you could see, like, you know, Cora kind of like, oh yeah, you're right. And then she's like, I don't want war. So then, and they get mad at me. Oh yeah, yeah. So she was playing that too, and like Sue in it's like she doesn't not want to give her city because she sees, she sees, you know, everything in the future that. If we do this, then it's anarchy because every city has been left in shambles after because of being ruled by an iron fist. So Cora's got to, you know, she's got to figure this out, which I don't think she's going to. At first, she's going to probably make the wrong move. But right now, they have the have a nice cliffhanger ending where they're going to sneak in into the camp and try and do a surprise, surprise sneak attack and... I don't think it's gonna work, and so oh, something something bad is gonna happen, and hopefully Cora gets there in time. And then even and now Bolin has to go to a re-education camp. What is that gonna entail? And hopefully he somehow manages to get off that train. And then Asami is playing playing board games with her father, and so I'm wondering if that can be a benefit that somehow he's gonna have an idea for yeah, her to help stop this uh current army yeah, of the earth of kingdom crazy spirit vines. yeah you know yeah. i think you know uh <clears throat> cora knows that there's history with kavira so i don't think she's uh, i shouldn't say i don't think everything that we've been told is that she doesn't know exactly what's going on you know mm -hmm. she knows that there's an army there thinks she can help you know mitigate the situation yeah. she doesn't know what's happened what's i mean we're even still learning stuff re-education right. camps things like that so this all sounds really, really bad, and I don't think Cora knows the full scope of of what's happening here. Um, now, um, uh, Julie, 
you know, she I'm brought up hoping, a good point. Like, you know, it's interesting because it's like they gave us that moment with them, you know, yep. mm -hmm. clear moment. And then like they spun it. So part of me is like, okay, maybe, maybe she's upset because she thought they were having a moment and he like ditched her and she was like, all right, that's it. Last mm -hmm. straw. Or maybe that moment made her realize, you know, I have more feelings for this guy. And she knows that if she doesn't do something kind of drastic here, that they're all getting sent away. So I'm not sure if it's at work or what's going on. Um, I was pretty um, surprised that Su Yin wanted Korra to take out the whole Yeah, just go in the avatar army. state. Here's an idea. I mean, even if, even if that's they want to, you know, use physical force, how about like, hey, go into the avatar state, you know, smash all their tanks or whatever, you know, in like a small show of force to let people know I'm not playing. But she was like, nope, take out the whole army. Yeah. I'm like, and what, what is that going to make people feel about Korra? You know, yeah. so this is a very complicated situation because, again, the people are split between whether what uh, Kavira is doing is a good thing, whether it's uniting people, providing safety. Because it is the Earth Nation. Re-educating, you, know? you know, and they did look, they did look when things fell with the queen things were a mess and mm -hmm. you know when somebody helps get things back in order people you know may be very appreciative of that and uh tend to turn a blind eye to the other things that end up happening you know moving forward so uh this is a this is a, like a heavy season so mm -hmm. far you know yeah. a real heavy season so uh you know we've we're through five we've got you know only a handful left eight left eight left yeah. and it's just like Oh man! Yeah, I definitely think the old Cora would have reacted differently to the whole situation. Than yeah, I don't even think now. she would have even went in talking. She would have went in a soul yeah. winging, guns blazing. Yeah, but, but just for Kavira, I think so. Uh, it all, go. It all well, started what it, in season three with her when they held the the image of her a little bit too long. Yep, we, we kind of figured uh, something was up. But hey, look, oh, we're what a cliffhanger to end this episode on. So we can't wait to catch you on the next episode. So for Appleton Oak, Mason Quinn, I'm of course the answer. We'll catch you on the next one, pals. Uvira threatens to take Zhao Fu by force. They were captured, then betrayed by Zhu Li. Which I think she's playing the long game. These juggernauts. Yeah. Yep. Even without Kuvira, they could still crush us. If we take her out, they'll have no reason to fight. Oh, oh. ninja <laughs> style. All right. <laughs> I like it. Classic shot of one mm -hmm. light. Yep. It's like they're a solid snake trying to sneak in. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. That's always the game changer right there. You can see everything. Oh. Whoa. Growing in. Oh, that's brilliant. Don't hurt me. Julie? Yep. Right into their trap. Oh. <clears throat> I knew you'd try sneak attack. You've always been a coward. Oh, wow. If we go charging into Kuvira's camp, we could get them all captured. Attention, citizens of... Oh, well, guess what? You won't have to wait long. Yep. Attempted to attack me tonight while I slept, ignoring the terms of our truce. No. Offer the full and unconditional surrender of your city. Jeez. Ooh. You can't let Kuvira get away with this. Your mom attacked the camp. Kuvira was just defending herself. Oh, she didn't want to hear Whoa. that. Why is that loudspeaker lady talking? Cora, what are we going to do? Fair point, little man. Mm. Look at Whoa. that hair. I promise I'll do everything I can to keep the peace. I'll go with you. Make sure they get back to Tenzin safely if anything goes wrong. Oh man, when am I going to see some action? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's probably better if Cora just goes by herself anyway. Julie! She really is gone. Kavira wants the Spirit Vine weapon operational as soon as possible. Well, I'm really only productive for about 15 minutes a day. <laughs> <laughs> Who isn't, huh? Go back to sleep. I'll be supervising. The last time we worked with the Spirit Vine... <laughs> Look at that little slide. ...that burned through a wall and could still be blowing up comets in space, as far as I know. <laughs> <laughs> Bolin can assist. Wait, All what? Right. I need my hands. Can we get breakfast first? Just <laughs> dragging him. At Varric, he's, uh, he's oh. a survivor. For He's sure. resourceful. Mm -hmm. Very resourceful. 
If Sue agrees to bow to me and turn over Zhao Fu, she and the rest of your bend the knee. Bend the knee. I was just thinking that. Where's Bolin? Bolin is with my fiance working on something very important. Mm -mm. I guess you don't realize how much Bolin has grown up. I can't just let you take the city. Zhao Fu cannot continue to rule itself. I'm here to distribute those resources fairly. Fairly. Yeah, exactly. It looks like you're not giving me a choice. I will fight the Avatar one on one. Oh. Mm. I'm the one who brought peace to the Earth Empire, not you. Oh. You're not relevant. Oh, wow. oh. Oh. Relevant? Not relevant? Mm. Is Korra even ready for this, though? Yeah, that's uh, the thing. I mean, she got whole whipped by some common street thugs. Mm -hmm. But she wasn't able to do her true Avatar state yep. yet, so we don't know. Just go into the Avatar state and get it over with. I'm only going to use that as a last resort. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's kind of what uh, sets you apart, isn't yeah. it? Hit her with the big guns right off mm -hmm. the bat. <laughs> oh, yeah. she oh. is working her. Ooh. Ooh. She's Tire just playing defense out, yeah. the whole time and just picking her spots. Oh! That didn't last long. Thought we were gonna get the old, the old blood sport. <laughs> what thing? The thing! I'm not Julie. <laughs> get up, <pliers. laughs> <He> just goes. <laughs> Let me through what you're doing. I want to know every detail of your work. Oh no, that's when they fire ya. Clean energy, sounds great. Let's do that instead. Quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do clean energy instead. You couldn't discover a wolf bat if it was building a nest in your butt. <laughs> 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 we couldn't control the power, so I'm trying something new to see if I can direct it. Oh, uh, I think that was a little yeah. bit of a play to you, kid. Yep. Whoa, what is she throwing? The, Remember, she's got those armor. Uh, oh. armor on her. And the handcuffs, ankle cuffs, blindfolds. She's going to get clotheslined. Uh, oh, uppercut. Oh. oh, okay. Show me what you've got. Stay back. I can handle this. It's like lethal weapon. No. Hey, yo, Tommy, I didn't hear no <laughs> bell. <laughs> This baffling here at the base. It looks like that would only redirect the enemy. What the heck is he? What is Bolin doing? Hand me the screw turn thingy, would you? Trust me, kid. I know what I'm doing. Okay, stand back. What's that ticking? I'd get out of here if I were you. This is the first time I built a timer, and it might run a little fat. Oops. You're bluffing. Stick around five minutes, and you'll find out who's bluffing. <laughs> People will say, hey, what happened to that guy? Oh, didn't you hear? He varicked himself. <laughs> 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 he munsoned him. You try to pull me away from this thing and I'll hit this remote and blow it immediately. Oh. You have to go into the Avatar state. Do it. Do it now. Do it. Do it now. Oh, oh. there it is. Oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> doesn't stand much of a chance now, does she? Is that what she wants, though? Does she want Cora to take her out and be a martyr? No, she wouldn't think that far ahead. What? What? Oh, no, she's seeing herself. Okay. For a second there, I was... We got the poison out. What's wrong with her? She knows it's not right. I knew you were weak. Oh, oh, jeez! Seriously, I didn't think it was gonna go that bad. You broke our agreement. Attack! Well. Oh, I didn't see yeah. this coming. Oh, <clears throat> all the rocks hitting them. Stunning work, <laughs> Iki. Raw emotional power. It's so metaphorical. Yeah, it's so metaphorical. Yeah. And now let's see Milo. What does he got? <laughs> Pedestrian. I already know what you look like on the outside. <laughs> you have to get Cora and the rest of us out of here now. Let's get it on. Bolin, do the thing. Uh. Unhook the cars. Oh, come on. That was an easy one. <laughs> do the thing. 
Man, that was great. We're gonna blow up. <laughs> <laughs> I like what they did there. Yeah. I'll see you on the other side, Julie. <laughs> I hate him. Whoa, oh, that's some power. That man was crazier than a sewer pipe elephant rat. Oh, oh. that's some devastation. <laughs> ah, yes, you. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I can't believe Julie worked for you as long as she did. Get it together. You can't this, <laughs> Get out of here. We'll be fine. Just go. Zalfu is ours. Is it though? Mm. All who pledge their loyalty to me will keep their freedom and be dealt with fairly as full citizens of the Earth Empire. The rest will be imprisoned as traitors. Oh, they won't do it. Bow to her! I'm so disappointed in you, Junior. Wow. Oh. You're crushing my individuality! <laughs> <laughs> they can bow down and kiss the converse. Are you sure there's no way they survived? But I think I can replicate his work with the spirit vines and get us back on track. I'll just need an assistant. Julie. Oh, Julie. It would be my honor, Great Uniter. Not buying it. And I'm not either. She's not on board. She's got a plan. Begin dismantling the domes. Ah. Mm. Oh, that one hits. Uh, that one pretty good. Yeah, I can't believe Korra didn't even land a hit on her until she went into the Avatar state. And then, you know, she had her vision again, which I don't know if that was her not wanting to end her and didn't feel that that was the right thing to do. I know, uh, you know, Aang kind of struggled with that, obviously, but that was a twist I didn't see coming. And whoa, that that fight did not go well for Korra. Mm -mm. Um, I knew Varric had a plan all along. Uh, we've well. we, we've had too many we've had too many seasons with him to count him out. So I knew he was going to come up with something. He kept kind of giving Bolin the eye, but Bolin, of course, was clueless to the whole thing. He was just worried about getting out of there. Uh, and now. You know, she's got the whole city under her control yeah. now, just like she said. And you know, everybody's either too weak or too afraid to fight back. And and, and again, this has been a very interesting villain um, because Kuvira isn't. She's vastly different from all the other villains that we've had. It's I equate her to almost like running into like uh, like an HR brick wall or or something along those lines where she uses. Uh, almost like a, a business like um, bureaucracy to kind of keep you at bay and says all the right things and all the right words where, you know, it's hard to unite the people in a battle against her because of what she has done with uniting people, even though it's not in the best way. So Kuvira is able to kind of paint that picture of like, oh, look, they're just, they're coming at me. They, they broke the agreement we had. Uh, now the airbenders got involved with mine and Korra's battle here. So it's real tricky. And I got to say, she's probably the most annoying villain that we've had uh, so far of all the books. But I'm looking forward to see how this uh, plays out because we haven't seen a lot. Uh, we certainly, not this episode, didn't see anything from other our other characters, Tenzin, Mako, uh, Asami, etc. Yeah, like you could see that she is still not battle ready. Uh, it seemed like no matter what she was trying to do, like she she would be Kavara would be able to maneuver out of it and just wasn't even landing a hit as you said. And then even the Avatar state, I don't know why she appeared to her like the poison is gone, so that she must now it must be all a mental block, yeah, it's right? All in her head. It's all got to be a mental block to stop her from going through. Because at first we thought it was maybe she didn't want to take her out that way they she just wanted to entrap her or whatever and then right away you know Kavira goes well you're weak so then traps her right in some earth and it was pretty cool to see though that sue was able to like pound her foot on the ground and see the whole thing yeah. but unfortunately it was julie and not yeah. you know not Kavira. and then uh 
<laughs> then good old Varric. He was ready to go down on his train or ship or whatever he was yeah. on. He was ready to go down with it because he just does not want this power getting into the wrong hands, which, you know, he might be insanely radical, but he was always just doing it for whoever had the most money. Yeah. And then you see here that he was he almost had it again. And, well, he made sure he dis, he disbanded all of that. But now how much does Julie know about making these weapons? weapons to help Batar and I'm sure it's a quite a bit just because you know she knew what the thing was yeah, every time he said get me the, do the thing yeah and, and Batar so, was watching too yeah watching closely and that's, so, that's always how you know when it's gonna so be that's the end. so that's where we're hoping <laughs> yeah. that that Julie is uh is on our side so then that way oh. she can uh sabotage yeah. the old machine yeah, I get the feeling that she's on what? our side yep. I mean it's uh you, you know the, the the, the close-up of her face and everything still doesn't leave me to believe that she's uh, gone to the dark side. Um, a, a very interesting uh, episode, as Answer had said. Um, Korra's definitely not battle-ready, but I think it is all in her head. Um, but it was crazy to see her, like, strike after strike after strike. Miss, 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 mm -hmm. miss, miss. And then Kavira was just working her, like, hard. And it's like... If you have to go into the Avatar state to take on one person, yeah. let's not forget, she's the only one that can bend all four elements, and she yep. doesn't have to be in the Avatar state to do that, you know? And mm -hmm. so you have Kavira, who obviously an earthbender and can do metal bending as well, um, you know, handing her own, or rather um, holding her own, and then some against somebody who is, you know, earth, wind, water, and fire, and it's... It's it's not what you expected. Of course, you know Cora got help from uh, Genora and, and the rest of the team and yep. uh, the Air Bison, but um, it's it's not looking good. She's got to get her head in the game. She's got to have trust in herself. And you know, it's it's one of those things where it's like you can have everybody around you telling you, "Oh, you can do it. You got this. You got yep. this." And it, it's weird because different people take um, you know some feedback and in uh you know an encouragement in in a different fashion you have some people who believe in themselves it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks i'm you know mentally strong where i'm going to do it and some people are like the flip side where you know it takes that outside encouragement and that outside belief in what you're trying to accomplish to really be able to take things to the next level right now everybody believes in her but she doesn't believe in herself mm -hmm. and it's putting the, the the issue here is it's putting everybody in danger so her not being up to her top self and physically who knows like you said answer she got the poison out she should physically yeah. be granted she doesn't have as much you know uh you know action time under her belt since you know kind of getting the metal out but at the same time she's done a lot of battle over the years so she should know how to throw down and it seems like she's having a hard time with it and uh you know we're almost halfway through this book and yeah, it's tricky. It's I'm almost seeing like the light they, at the end of the tunnel. You know, it's almost like they did a reset with Korra. Like yeah. she was like level twenty before in the last book, and now she got like level drained, and now she's yeah, like that, a level two. Well, because yeah, that you know? poison really worked her did. over. You yeah, know, yeah. It did. absolutely. Yeah. So, so there we go. Let's see what's next. Just about halfway through. The next one will be the halfway point. So for Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm of course answer. We'll catch you on the next one, pals.